Right, yo guys, it's Master Davers here, and welcome. And without further ado, let's just first start off a gameplay here. And what this video is about? This is another brand new series which I'm starting my channel, together with the Countdown to Xbox One series. Um, now this series should be a very, very interesting one, like a fascinating, fascinating one, a topic. I mean, I. Yes, there'll be, there's gonna be a lot of topics which are gonna be fascinating in this series, and the series itself is gonna be um, quite fun for me to actually do. But first thing first, this is some SWAT gameplay in the background, and I do pretty, I do really well in this. I get like 34, 34 kills and 18 deaths, but that's normal in SWAT because. You are because you have a chance of dying in one shot, that's why. So uh, and plus the team we played against was pretty good, but our team was better. And and the reason that I died like eighteen times mostly because these people were obviously doing having teamwork, doing teamwork together and they were communicating because guess what? All four of them were in the clan, but we still beat them by like twenty kills, I think. I'm not sure. But we did beat them, and yeah, went pretty well. Um, yeah, I'm sure this guy wants to play me. But anyway, I don't want to ramble here too much. I need to first, I need to introduce this series extremely well to you guys. So what this series is about is I am going to be like explain you guys, um, and I'm gonna tell you guys every single thing or from main stuff. I'll make Halo 5 the best first person shooter yet and how we can make Halo 5 even a more successful shooter than COD and these elements which I'm now in plant will definitely make Halo 5 more welcoming welcoming to newcomers and still below it by by a few veterans Halo veterans and the players which are currently playing Halo 4 and I'm sure I'm sure um, I'm sure a lot of people will be liking my ideas um, so first of all here's we need to get this one out of the way um, first two episodes are gonna be um, just introductory um, episodes so just normal topics it's gonna be from episode 3 onwards it's gonna be really interesting where it's gonna be really interesting where I'm gonna be adding some cool new ideas so um, episode 1 and 2 is basically um, I'm gonna be telling you guys um, some stuff that needs to go from that needs to be in Halo 5 which comes from Halo 4 and previous Halo titles um, to make Halo 5 and that's basically just a starter how to make Halo 5 like genuinely good like generally like Halo 4 is generally good, like it's actually amazing, it's my favorite Halo, to be honest, I mean it's the most fun I had in any, any Halo, so I'm gonna be, I mean, episode 1 and 2 is just gonna be my pure speculation, and it's going to be, um, like, it's also gonna be what I'm sure a lot of people actually want, but there might be some stuff that a lot of people hate, but that's their problem, if I'm being honest here, because I think mo because I think the majority of the community actually gonna like the stuff which I'm gonna actually say. Just only the diehard Halo 3 fans which wouldn't like that. So if you're a diehard Halo 3 fan and you don't only like Halo 3 and you don't like any other Halo or whatever, um, I don't recommend you to be watching this series at all because obviously all my videos will be then hated. All my videos. Probably like 99%. However, <laughs> you when I say it's gonna be hated by Halo 3 diehard fans. So, um, so yeah, let's get it moving. Let's get it moving. So, Halo 5, I think as a starter, we need Sprint in Halo 5. So now we can, we can safely say that Sprint is now a factor of Halo, and Sprint is now what makes, is part now of every single first person shooter, and I think it's, um, a good part of Halo now. And I think Halo needed this scenes like Halo 2 without. I mean, I mean, I actually didn't mind Halo 2. Halo 2, like, I mean, it was old at the time. It was normal at the time. Now I have Sprint, actually. 
in games actually. Um, but when Halo 3 was coming, was out. I mean, there was Call of Duty and lots of other shooters which already had sprinted. And then um, you know, Halo 3 was fun, but it was kind of too slow for me and. Um, so yeah, I really wanted like sprint or something, and a lot of people want sprint. So, um, so only for diehard Halo, Halo 3 fans will actually hate sprint. And yeah, the sprint definitely needs to make need be there. It's good for. Um, I mean, I like it when Halo is fast paced, and a lot of people like it when Halo is more pa fast paced. Fast paced equals more kills and more action, more enjoyment. It's pure. I mean, most of it is fact, what I just said. So then, what we need is we need. A few armor abilities returning. Now, I don't know if armor abilities should be in loadouts or not. Because I don't really mind. Armor abilities can be loadouts. But I think it, it might appeal more to to everybody if armor abilities were um, scavenged around the map. And you have to pick them out. Pick them up, sorry, and fight for them so you can actually claim them. And... And that'll be actually even more interesting. So you don't have just some power weapons on the maps. You also have the um, armor abilities which you have to go for. And if you get the armor abilities, you'll be in higher advantage over over people. So I think that might be interesting. But honestly, if, it's, um, if armor abilities are loadouts, I won't I won't really mind it too much. But um, I think it'll be quite new and quite fresh and quite exciting to see armor abilities. As pick up pickables on the maps. Um, so armor abilities, which I think need to be returning in Halo 5, which should return at least. Um, I think Regen Field should return. Promethean Vision. Um, Promethean Vision Auto Sentry for noobs, because I think noobs like Auto Sentry, and Auto Sentry isn't really that annoying. So, um, Hard Light Shield. Um, this thing is not annoying. You can easily just counter it from behind or melee for person just quite easily if he's using it. So it's not really that annoying. Um, plus, it's useful for spawn ups and campaign stuff like that to um, to avoid getting killed, obviously. Um, like it was extremely useful in the campaign mission called Forerunner. That's what I can tell you. It's a pure fact here, and and. We also need, or we don't necessarily need, but we, I mean, we don't really need this, but um, I don't mind if jetpack returns, I mean, a lot of people like this, um, I mean, I actually use jetpack myself, and that's actually the end of this um, clip here, and while I'm talking, I'm going to be putting up a different clip, um, so yeah, uh, so yeah, expect quite a lot of stuff. And then now, when I'm gonna actually, I don't really need to start a new gameplay because I'm almost done with this. Actually, episode one. Sorry, it's only a short video. Um, future ones might be longer. Like episode three should be longer at least. Um, so now, what I'm be discussing is should perks return? Yeah, should perks return for Halo? Um, so basically, there are these special specialization packages. Support upgrades and utility upgrades, I think. Um, um, and honestly, I don't mind if they return. It, sh it should be in the loaders. I don't think there's any any um, support upgrade or utility upgrade that is more better than the other. I mean, so it's basically not really a big problem. I don't mind seeing a return. I really don't mind at all, actually. I mean, it makes Halo actually a bit more interesting, to be honest. And, um... Yeah. And... Now. Also, I think... Some guns that should be returned. Obviously, we already know that some guns are gonna return, but maybe... We obviously, we obviously know, like, stuff like a BR is obviously gonna be the next Halo, but... Maybe some new guns, brand new guns that, again, like in Halo 4, they introduced a railgun and all these Promethean we weapons. We could have maybe new Promethean weapons because I think, yeah, because the Covenant, those more Covenant weapons and more UNSC weaponry than Forerunner weaponry. So we could have some more Forerunner weaponry and maybe a new Covenant weapon, like a brand new Covenant weapon with just something completely different. And also we could have. 
some some older weapons return. Maybe like the silenced F SMG would be pretty cool in multiplayer. I know a lot of people actually want it, and I think it would be pretty cool as well in multiplayer. Um, as one of the loadout weapons, and and definitely we don't want um like gun customizations. I put a freaking heartbeat sensor on a BR or something. We don't want that. Um, so yeah, that's basically it. I'm running short on time here, that's why, so I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.